pick up artists in the world without a doubt, because the best in the world will be in one place with myself. And it's going to become very, 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 very obvious <clears throat> that I am a dragon and they are tiny little men. I haven't said that, let me uh, talk about anxiety to ferocity. Um, I was training my dog right now outside my martial arts academy. And she was looking up at me. It's called a focus, right? And I heard this growling. <clears throat> but too close. Too close. There was a few people there. And then I quickly swept her up. Threw her at my academy. I went to shut the door, but there was a door stopper that I didn't see. So it goes, nothing happens. I put my hands by the door and I look. I didn't know what was coming. I thought it was a dog coming. Well, obviously, I thought it was a dog coming, right? And I see there's a lady yanking her dog, right? The lady goes out. Three people that were there were like, whoa, what happened? And then they had a real good time talking about how quickly I moved. Now, did I think about it? Nope. I moved. Okay, and it was very quick. One time, I was living in a very bad area in San Jose. Really bad area. And I'd always been telling my girlfriend, listen, should shit go down here, <laughs> here's how you use a knife, here's what you do, like this whole thing. And we were laying in bed, and I heard somebody by the door. It sounded like they were going to break in. If my girlfriend's ever around and you remember this, remind me. You have to hear her perspective. When she says it, she goes, she goes, it felt to her like she blinked her eye, and I was by the door with a knife in my hand, crouched, with the lights off. It happened really fast, I didn't think about it. Turned off the lights and I was there, waiting for the fucker to come in. Nothing happened, okay? Both of those incidents, there was no time to think. I just moved. But both of those incidents, my action was coming out of a lot of repetition of moving like that. I've worked a lot with, uh, you know, stressful fighting situations in my life. So when the time comes, and we're just talking about it right now before I came, my girlfriend and I, and I said, um, I said, I trust myself that when the time comes, I know what to do, and I do it so fast that it's quicker than whatever the, the opposition is, right? All right. However, if someone told me, look, in a minute, a ferocious dog is about to walk up. The owner's going to be a little white lady. She won't be able to control the dog. The dog's going to attack you and your dog. You're going to be too far from the door to make anything happen. So be careful. And if I started to run this scenario in my mind, I would start to get a certain level of anxiety. But if you observed what I did, you would see a ferociousness of ready to defend my dog. Or if someone told me, you're going to be laying in bed and there's going to be, someone's going to try to break into your house in about two minutes. It could be have a gun, it could be five people. I would get the anxiety. But when I was laying in bed and I heard something, I went. Now, both times, my heart was racing. However, my actions were too fast for my mind to slow me down. If you're out there and you're looking at the girl or you're going to go approach or do whatever the hell it is you're doing and you start to create it in your mind really big, you are feeding anxiety. You're feeding it. One way, well, one way, there are many. One way to handle it is to move. So we have in the game something called the three second rule, okay? You walk in, one, two, three, you're in, okay? You're in. That will, you'll still have reactions in your body, but you're in. And now your reactions are happening. Meanwhile, you're engaged in the act that you need to be in. Just like I still had a nervous feeling when I threw my dog in and when I'm crouched by the door, but I'm in the act. My, my heart is pounding, adrenaline's kicked in, I'm faster, stronger, more alert, which is good, bad for my enemy, good for me, but I'm in the act. Whereas, prior to it, if I'm thinking about it, it could freeze you suddenly. Because where you're standing is a lot more comfortable than going out there and attacking that image in your mind. The image is already creating anxiety, it must be worse. So either way, you're gonna deal with heart pumping reaction and this feeling called anxiety or nervousness. One will be while you're in the act, 
so that energy will be used to utilize, utilized by you. The other, you're not in the act, and you're going through the emotions, and then it can paralyze you, or someone observes it and goes, there's something wrong with that guy, because they haven't seen anything happen. You're standing there petrified. Whoa, awkward. So one way is to move, to get into action. Okay? Now, I kicked out some girl from my academy two days ago. God. I kicked out uh, a girl from my academy two days ago. Cool. I found some information about her and I called her. I didn't want to call her. I don't like confrontation, you know, I hate it. <laughs> but I called her. She didn't pick up. My girlfriend was there. She says to me, Do you get nervous when you call her? I said, Yep, I do. I said, My body goes through the reactions of confronting another human being. I said, but I also have that feeling every time I train jiu-jitsu on the mat, I know that feeling is always there no matter what. So I recognize it as a feeling that's there, but I also recognize that I gotta do it. I said, and that's the difference. Of course, I said, of course I feel it. It's my, but I recognize my body's reaction to confrontation. And I need that reaction. I don't need it to be nothing. I need it to heighten awareness for a little bit, move faster and stronger. I would hope adrenaline kicks in if a wolf ran in here right now trying to eat us. I would hope my adrenaline kicks in. And if it was a choice between me or your life, I hope your adrenaline didn't kick in. Mm -hmm. See the difference? I would be like, oh, it's cool. I was like, wow, strong and fast, running through walls and breaking through windows and shit, right? So you have to come to realize and reframe what this energy is. It's an energy designed to make you faster, stronger, more alert, more tunnel vision into what you need. Whereas right now there could be a lot of stimulus. If a lion walked up, you'd be like, whoa. And all, all instrument would go tune into the channel of the lion because you need to fucking survive. So that's supposed to be a good thing. It's just not a good thing if you're sitting here and there is no lion and you're responding to a lion. That's where we went crazy is that there was no girl and you had anxiety about a girl or you didn't even approach and you had anxiety about the girl. So you tell yourself, fine, when I approach, the anxiety is okay. And you go, well, I need to approach. You go, no, here's how it goes. I'm going to talk to my friends. When I'm going to approach, I'm going to walk. Now, they, now it's okay. Now it's okay. Because you need to be hyper alert. You really do. You see, I'm okay with having this energy kick in. In fact, I want it to kick in. So instead of fighting it, if a lion was here and I was fighting my nervousness, it wouldn't be as good as if I just said, okay, I need to get the fuck out of here, and whatever's happening with me is, I need to go, right? I probably wouldn't care if I broke through the window at that point and jumped from there if it was a lion here. I'd take my chances falling from the roof here. So, what's happening is we have this thing as such a negative connotation. You have anxiety, you have nervousness. But we need to trace the roots and find out why in the world would a system that seems pretty legit, it temp it's temperature is always balanced at 97.6 or whatever the fuck the body is, right? Heart beating, right? Most of the time we're doing well. Why would a system put in this alarm system that's just useless? Is it completely outdated and outmoded? If it is, then we can work on getting rid of it. But I don't think it's outdated and outmoded. I just think it's triggered incorrectly. You see? It's triggered incorrectly. And that's all there is to it. And because we don't feel it enough, we're not used to it. Now, if we were out in the jungles, in tribes, living all the time, and we were used to running away from predators as a daily activity, we would know where, what that nervousness is. Afterwards, we'd like talk about it like, yeah, ooh, 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 go, 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 right? And if on a daily basis you are contacting beautiful women and the energy is kicking in, then you, you start to understand that that's what happens. It's not a... It's not a, oh my God, this whole month I've only had this experience once of like, because I try to talk to a girl because I went out one night this week. So you have to become familiar with this alarm system that you have. If it's the first time you're in your house and the shit goes beep, beep, you go, someone's breaking in. But if it's the hundredth time and you know that beep, beep means there's someone out there, you treat it differently. You look out, oh, that's what it is. So what's happening is guys are tremendously overreacting to this tiny little thing called anxiety. You see, you should be like a god. 
that anxiety should be this tiny little bubble, like anxiety. But what people do is they make themselves like a tiny little bubble, and anxiety is like this thing that's just like crushing them all the time. So it's a matter of perspective, a matter of size, a matter of having, in my opinion, a little bit more self-respect for ourselves and going, anxiety, of course I feel it. Now, talking about that chick I kicked out, I called, she didn't pick up. She calls, I saw the phone, and I right away answered. I was also aware <clears throat> that I didn't want to answer the phone, honestly. Answered. Happened to be connection, we couldn't hear each other, so we hung up. She didn't call back until about three hours later. Called again. Saw it right away. Now, every time I saw that fucking call, I was like, God damn it. I don't want to do this thing. Gave me a, you know, finally we got in the conversation. Now, my heart was kind of beating faster. It wasn't like I was like a nervous wreck, but, you know, it was a different, there was a change in my chemistry. Talked, kicked the dumb whore out. She says to me at the end, I would like to be friends. I said, no, no, I don't like you. Why would I possibly want to be friends with someone like you? This is what you've done. This is what your actions have demonstrated. This is what I've done in our friendship. I said, now, wouldn't I be a fool if I wanted to keep someone like you around in my life? I said, get on with it, and I'm not interested. I got the phone. I felt a little bit bad, but now I feel great talking about it. And I've told the story like four or five times, okay? Uh, you got to reconsider these things. you got to reconsider what your relationship to these tiny little things are. See, I, I consider obstacles very small compared to my goals. Right? Now, in reality, when you observe somebody, it's maddening to talk to me, by the way, unless like I shut shit off just to have a regular human conversation. But when you talk to somebody, they're constantly telling you shit. So I just told you, I said, I consider obstacles very tiny compared to my goals. Okay, now I'm teaching you something about body language.